Hi everyone, so welcome back. Kathy here from Santa Marta Designs channel. And today I have a special project for you. Since we are in the month of October, we're gonna be doing some breast cancer awareness projects. And one of the things that we're gonna be working on is doing a gnome, but usually you see is all the boy gnomes. And we are gonna be doing a girl gnome. Um, but what we're gonna be working on today for just this part of the project is making the skirt for the girl gnome on the Unique in the Creek uh, tree board. So I wanna go over what we're gonna be using for materials. So first off, obviously I just mentioned we have a Unique in the Creek tree board. Um, then what we have right behind there, and this is what I've picked out for colors, and obviously you can make your colors different. I have two 12 by 18 sheets of felt, and these are premium pieces of felt. So two 12 by 18 sheets. And then I have one nine by 12 sheet, which is like a charcoal gray, like a heather gray. Actually, which I have yet to peel off the sticker, but just to um, provide us affirmation <laughs> that it is a nine by 12 piece, okay? So we have that. And the best part about this project is if you don't have a sewing machine, we're gonna be doing the non-sewing machine method. If you have a sewing machine, that's great. You can use your sewing machine for um, to speed up parts of this project. But we are gonna be doing the non-sewing machine version because not everyone has a sewing machine readily available to them, but they can sew by hand or at least purchase the materials they need to sew by hand. So here I have a um, needle that's already been threaded with some heather gray um, uh, light uh, yarn, which is more like the crocheting string, okay? Um, so I have one color here that is like the, again, charcoal gray, heather gray, and it's more like a, a charcoal gray versus a heather gray because heather gray is usually a little bit lighter. So I have um, two of those um, bundles and it's actually number 535 if you were to go purchase it in the store. And then I have a light pink version of these. Uh, this is color number 605 if you ever go purchase it in the store. And what I have on hand is some buttons that I have um, always collect little buttons from shirts that come with those little extra buttons. And sometimes, you know, the shirts are no longer around your closet, but maybe the buttons are. So I always keep a stack in a little button drawer holder and I picked out these two buttons. One is a little straight white, one is a little bit more off white, but that's okay. It's all right to have um, a little bit of a contrast, not gonna be something hugely noticeable. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna be working on is just the actual skirt for the uh, girl gnome, okay? So I have one in the front of the board and then I'm going to put this second sheet, which I can move this top one. So I'm gonna put a second sheet right underneath the board. Just moving a cup of water in case it falls, which is the water from my painting. So right at the very bottom of the tree board, here you have the triangle board, tree board, interchangeably used, those, those definitions there or those descriptions. So I have about a, about three quarters of an inch of a um, space here that I've left, okay? So what I wanna do is cut this so that I'm actually going to use this threading to make a noticeable, um, you know, rustic stitch in her skirt so that um, I don't really want her to look like she's coming from Neiman Marcus. Um, I would rather her look like she's come from, you know, a everybody goes to kind of store and still looks great. So we're gonna cut this pretty close and we're gonna use that about three quarter of an inch mark and we're gonna just cut our felt all the way around. So now if you needed to guide yourself, you could always um, use like a light pen or a chalk, or like a white chalking pen to go ahead and um, mark your space off first before you cut. 
but we're going to go ahead and just start cutting. Um, so we're going to go to the bottom corner here. I'm just going to make sure everybody's in view here. So we're going to, we're going to round off her, her bottom corner and we're just going to keep this still along with our cut. So I'm just holding from the very bottom behind the board and behind the felt. So that way the felt doesn't shift. Again, I don't need this to be an exact science. So that's why um, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it. And if I need to adjust the width of the cut, I will as I go along. So there again, there's about three quarters of an inch some might be a little smaller in some places, but we'll even that out. That's not a problem. Um, so we can always just come back in here and even that out like so. Okay. So again, any little spaces that don't look right, we can always fix those in the end. Like pointy little edges at the rounding not a problem okay so let's go to this side and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing where we are cutting about three quarters of an inch to a half inch left over over the board okay and so we're just going to set aside our scrap pieces because we may use them for making um, parts of the breast cancer awareness ribbon or we may just use them for a special other kind of accents but so we're going to keep them around and not allow them to go very far so again that was just going ahead and cutting the edges to round them off a little bit so now that's the back piece and what we're going to do is take this right off underneath our mat or on top of our mat I should say. Okay so now what we've done is taken our second piece of felt here and we are going to place our cut piece of felt right on top and we're going to push it over as far over to the edge as we possibly can so that we can just use this as our little guide cut our bottom piece. So I'm going to turn this around just because I'm a righty and it makes more sense for me to cut this way. And again, as you're cutting and if you see any little imperfections, and go ahead and straighten those pieces out. And remove, or at least move out of the way, all your excess. And again, just straightening out some of the little jagged edges that I see. Because again, we freehand cut this versus putting out a straight line. Okay, so now you have a front and back to your tree board. So you don't technically need a front and back if you wanted to just um, do a front you could do that okay you could do that 
and just go ahead and glue this on. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit, um, just a little bit more noticeable and a little more dynamic with having two layers to her skirt and not having the back show up so much. So what I did was I overlap this quite a bit. So there's probably about a good two inch overlap um, over this uh, last remaining row of zip ties that I've already been loaded. And I did do that on purpose. This is just so that in the event um, I need to have a little extra felt on top. It's there. It's better to have extra and have it there then need some more and not be able to glue it on okay so what we're gonna do is I'm going to start going ahead and taking the needle and placing it on the inside layer okay here but I'm going to start right underneath this last row of zip ties so I'm going to start my um, stitching on the inside and the reason being so I'm going to go about halfway between our board and our edge so I'm going about right in the middle and the reason I'm starting from the inside is because I have already gone ahead and placed a knot in my string okay so since I have a knot in my string, it's going to secure it from moving and pulling right back through the fabric. So what I'm going to do is keep these two layers aligned and I'm just going to realign them real quick since I moved the board. So you could technically go ahead and stitch this without having it on the board as long as you knew where the edge of the board was so that way when you put it back on the board you're not overshot with um, the stitching but so I'm just going to go ahead and stitch right on the board and I'm going to do a few stitches with you and again you can choose to make a pattern with your stitching which is what I think adds a little more um, pizzazz to your designs so you want to go ahead um, and pick a pattern that you're going to do for your stitching this here I'm making like a little X okay so you just keep going back and forth back and forth with your stitching and you'll make this X pattern so we're going to speed things up and get this um, all sewn up have about two-thirds of our skirt done so as we can see we're going to try and just fit this in nicely here and then all we have to do is sew up and close up this side here this third quarter but before we do that what we're going to do is attach um, what we want to um, consider some applique pieces that we're actually going to make by hand to um, just give some more character to the skirt. So what we're going to bring back out is our dark colored felt. And we're going to think of something to do with this. Okay, so what we're going to do is basically make a shirt collar uh, stripe here. 
um, right down the middle so that it almost looks like her skirt has a row of um, just closing buttons. So what we're going to do is measure approximately. So the gnome's nose is going to go in the middle of row 8 right here. And there is a number on your board, so number 8. And it's going to go right in the middle. So what we're trying to do is get as close to right under the nose as possible to make this look like it's a one length piece. And what we're going to try and do is cut as straight of a line as possible. But in order to do so, I am going to get out a ruler along with a marker. And I think I'm going to approximately do about an inch wide this strip. And I'm just going to come all the way down here and cut a straight line. So let's see, we'll measure out an inch just so that okay. And we're gonna come down and make a line. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that up. Now it's okay to cut right on the line with a little bit of the marker showing because we can always just flip this over this marker side to the back side. Just wanted to make sure we got a little bit of a straight line as much as possible there. Okay. And we're going to straighten this up over here as well. Now, what we're going to do is take our pink threading, okay, and we're going to stitch this on. And then what we are also going to do is stitch two buttons on, okay, just like that. So this is going to be our girl now. So let's take out quite a bit of threading. And again, the reason why we haven't put this on the board yet is because I wanted to put this additional um, applique looking pieces onto the dress. And I wanted to be able to get into the back side of this felt to be able to sew this on. And if we had closed up this piece here, we wouldn't be able to do so. So I'm going to take out a long piece of thread. I'm going to put this on the needle. And we're going to speed things up. the two-thirds of our skirt made and we also have our applique added so nothing is going to fall off uh, nothing with hot glue um, as far as stitching everything together um, I am thinking of possibly putting another small applique on here just so that the ribbon shows up because we are going to be giving her a pink ribbon to wear on her skirt, um, but we'll figure that out after the fact. 
So we're going to stitch her closed onto the board. And again, we left extra so that if we have to cut down here, we can. And when we put the nose on, if it covers things up, it's okay. Um, we'd rather have things covered up than not. So we can always cut this extra right off when we add in the rest of our ribbon and when we add in our nose, okay? So from here until here, we are gonna um, cross X stitch by hand the rest of this and again the, the reason for doing this by hand is is the fact that not everyone has um, a sewing machine or access to one so just showing you that you can do this by hand uh, you can also do this um, on a sewing machine if you choose to uh, but we're gonna go ahead and re-thread our dark gray charcoal needle threading uh, take this off take our pink off And we're gonna thread this and we are gonna come back through here and finish this up. And there you have it everyone. Here is a picture of our finished product. I went ahead and added an extra applique which is just like a little pocket uh, where we are going to put our uh, breast cancer awareness pink ribbon on to add for some contrast. But this in total is our uh, gnome girl skirt on the Unican Creek tree board. So if you love this project or you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel for Santa Marta Designs. Don't forget to click that little bell notification icon and YouTube will let you know when more great videos are uploaded. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you guys. Bye.